Community leaders are stepping up to give students from Harding High School a place to go. The school was planning to have students back in class today, but now the school will stay closed until Friday. That is a week after 15 year old Devin Scott was stabbed to death. A 16 year old student is charged with his murder. It is a lot for students to take in and as uh, our Adam Duxter shares. That's why St. Paul rec centers are stepping in to help. For this group of Harding High School freshmen, this game of football is much more. My mom, she, she wanted me to switch schools and she was just really worried. And she, she left her work to come get me. Just days ago, one of their classmates was killed. Another is facing charges for it. I feel terrified, really terrified. I feel like when something really bad happens, it gathers a lot of attention from everyone and it paints a bad picture for all of us. With school closed a couple more days. Kids um, have gone through a lot um, over the last couple years. And People like Tony Sane feel the need to step up. It's the reason Sane started his own foundation years ago, and it's the same reason its doors are open to students today. You know, I think people are scared. Um, you know, they feel unsafe. But I just try to develop a relationship with them and let them know that I see them and I will support them and I actually care, you know, who they are and that they're welcome here. And the hope is through something as simple as a game of soccer, you're giving these kids a chance to take their minds off of everything they've been on for the last few days or so. These guys say there is some truth to that. But when you're in the field, you usually just forget everything. That's what happens to us, really, because I'm a soccer player. Me and Fob, we played for Harding. And when we usually get onto, onto the field, all our like problems just are gone after. Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. In addition to the Conway Community Center being open today, so were sites at Battle Creek and Eastview. Harding High School is set to reopen Friday with more security and an early release time.